What is up, everybody? Hey, Steve Mortensen here, Coldwell Banker, North Orange County, California, coming at you today, May 9th, 2024. And today I want to talk about what does your budget possibly get here in the city of Yorba Linda at around $1.25 to $1.5 million. So let's take a little look-see here. I'm going to kind of walk you through the few properties that are available. We're still experiencing a pretty low number of homes listed for sale, but on the positive side, it does seem like there's more and more inventory coming to the market pretty much every single day. So let's see where our money takes us here mid-May uh, 2024. And let's go share our screen here. So here you can see on the left-hand side, we've got coming soon and active properties, single family detached residents only between 1.25 and $1.5 million gives us a grand total of seven properties to choose from. So let's see what we get here. So there you have it. Um, I've got them force ranked from the lowest priced property to the highest priced property within this budget constraints. So you can see here, it gets you a three or four, maybe even a five bedroom home, um, ranging from looks like about 1800 square feet up to around 2700 square feet. Most of these are older properties with one exception being built in 2002, the rest in the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. All right, so let's take a little look-see. Let's look at the, the least expensive property. So this is a four bedroom, two bath home on a, uh, that's about 1800 square feet, but you can see right here, the lot size is pretty good with over a 10,000 square foot lot. Let's look at the photos real quick. All right, cute little property. It's got some trendy colors on the flooring here, a trendy looking kitchen with nice counters and backsplash, stainless steel appliances. You got the raw natural wood um, doors and the flooring, the white oak color, all very trendy and in vogue for today's style. And this is a nice looking house. Um, I, you know, one of the drawbacks, if I had to say something right off the get go, is it is on Lakeview Avenue, uh, which is obviously a, a main north south thoroughfare through the city of Yorba Linda. So that will be a drawback for others. This photo here also says a lot. This is a long, narrow. Uh, lot. So rather than maybe a square shaped lot or a more traditional um, shaped rectangular lot, you've got a really long and narrow rectangular lot, which may not work for some folks. Additionally, you can see there's horse features on this property. But at the entry level price of 1.25 million, this is a pretty nice house. It buys you nice schools, it buys you a nice neighborhood, and it's a nice looking property in and of itself. Let's go more to kind of the middle of the road here. Let's look at this one. I've actually shown this one on Via La Primavera. It is, it comes in at five beds, three baths. It's got a pool, nicely remodeled. The challenge on this particular property is the street. And let me share with you, some of the homes on this street are nicely done like this one. Others are have a lot of deferred maintenance on them. So at the top of your budget at 1.5, while it gets you a bigger home and maybe a slightly better neighborhood than the one we just looked at, it um, it, it may not be for everybody, but it's on a cul-de-sac location. There's not a, a, a an easy way in or out, so there shouldn't be a lot of through traffic. And it does have some nice upgrades within it. Um, bonus feature here is uh, the listing agent is a good buddy of mine. So you know, maybe we could work a deal on it if this is the one you're looking for. But you can see white kitchen. It's got vinyl plank flooring throughout. It has um, a family room as well as formal living, formal dining. And you can see it's it's very neutral. White walls throughout most of it. Um, the bathrooms are nicely done. Upstairs, one cool feature of this room here is a huge upstairs bonus room. I mean, you could literally bunk three or four kids in this room. So if you had a large family and you were capped out at 1.5, this buys you excellent schools. It's right off from uh, Yorba Linda Boulevard. So you would have access to award-winning schools in a great neighborhood. I think there's probably some wiggle room on the price too. You can see here, it's been listed for 103 days with this agent, my buddy, additionally, uh, 194 days prior to that. So the home is vacant, it's ready to sell, and it's recently fallen out of escrow.
So maybe now is the time to get a good buy. Let's go all the way to the top of our budget and see what that gets us. Now, this home's been on the market for only 38 days. Um, they have not yet made a pricing cut. They're listed just under 1.5 million. I would say off the cuff, what the market is telling me right now is if you are past 30 days on the market and you have not gone into escrow, you are probably somewhere between 5% and 10% overpriced for the value that your property offers. Now, sellers can ask any number they want. That doesn't mean it's worth it. Um, and in my professional opinion, I have not yet seen this one in person. The market has rejected this seller's price at 1.5 million, being that it's sat on the market already for more than 30 days. Let's kind of scroll through the pictures here and see what we think about it. It looks like a, a tastefully done home that seems to be in good repair. It's got neutral colors, albeit the beiges and the browns or maybe not as in vogue today as they were 20 years ago. Um, so for some buyers, that may be a turnoff. But here, digging further, you can see these kitchen cabinets. These are OG originals. Uh, you know, you've got this upper bank here hanging down, obstructing your view into the other side of the home. Exterior hinges, the door face, it all just reeks of... 1965. Um, and that is certainly part of what's holding them back. Let's dig a little further into this one and see what else we can find. Now the bathrooms, this one at least appears to be remodeled. It's got shaker style cabinetry, white, very in vogue. The, the banister and the railing here on the, the stairs has been redone. So not fully original. The sliding panel doors are newer. Um, this bathroom appears to be a little more dated, uh, but wow, look at that. You've got a really nice patio cover out back. It's got a really nice view. And for some people, that's worth an awful lot of money um, to have that nice twinkling city lights view. And I suspect you probably even get a little bit of uh, sunset view from this property as well. Now, again, at $652 a square foot, I don't think they're outside the realm of what's possible um, for that that price per footage, but the market is clearly spoken at 38 days. They're probably 5% overpriced on this home. So, you know, there is some opportunities. If you're a buyer out there looking and you're in this very competitive 1.2 to 1.5 price range, that's kind of the entry level price point for a nice home in a nice neighborhood in the city of Yorba Linda. Um, that, you know, there very well may be some opportunities to negotiate. I can tell you if I was this seller's agent, I would be hammering them saying, guys, listen, the market has rejected our price. It's time for us to make an improvement. No sense in wasting more days on market because the longer it sits on the market, the more and more buyers are going to just automatically assume there's got to be something wrong with it. So if you're a buyer out there and you're in this price range, there's not a ton to choose from. Uh, interest rates are high, but on a property like this, you could probably not only negotiate some on the price, but we might even be able to get a seller credit, which would allow you to take that money and buy down your mortgage rate, whether that's a temporary buy down or a permanent buy down, making your monthly payment a little bit more palatable for the foreseeable future. Um, that's always one strategy and you never know what a seller is going to say. You know, they, we don't know what their motivations are. They might say, yes, let's do it and be willing to wheel and deal. And they might hold their ground firm. And that is okay. They are not, they are not required to lower their price. They can keep their home until they're serious about selling. So that gives you, the consumer, a quick look at what's available in the city of Yorba Linda here in mid-May 2024. Again, not much to choose from. And you see most of these homes, as we come back to the list here, haven't been on the market very long. 55 days, 103 days, 38 days. Those are what we call stale in our industry. Anything past 30 days, the buyers automatically assume something's wrong with it. And now the listing has gone stale. The others here are all newer to market and will probably go into escrow soon. So if I can help you in any way, I've got all my contact information listed down below here in the uh, in, in, in the description box below the video. I'd be happy to help. I've been one of the top real estate agents here in the city of Yorba Linda for almost the last 15 years. Put my knowledge and expertise and aggression and negotiating to work for you. Reach out today. Let me know how I can help. Bye for now.